Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here, and I'm going to tell you this. What did you get? We have a legendary stand-up comedian who wants up joining in with Bubba Cope, starring in a TV series, I Spy, and then wound up creating one of the greatest cartoons of all time called Fat Albert, then later started in his own family-friendly sitcom, as well as doing all these stand-up comedies and and movies you know, throughout those years. Not to mention doing a lot of plugs for companies like Coca-Cola, Kodak, and Jell-O. Yes, he's the one. Bill Cosby. One of the greatest legendary stand-up comedians of all time. That I actually grew up watching him when I was a kid and even from this day on. And I always enjoy his work no matter what. But when it comes to movies like this one that I'm about to review today called Leonard Part 6. Yeah, that's right. Leonard Part 6. You know you're in trouble. Because not only was this one of the worst movies of all time. In fact, this was the movie that Cosby himself wanted the whole audience and his fans to stay away from it. So that means that he himself actually hated it as much as everybody does. Yeah, considering the fact that he was involved in the production by being the co-writer, the co-producer, and of course the star. <laughs> so yes, the movie was so bad that he himself wanted to buy the television right in order for viewers not to see this film. Well, guess what? I actually saw this movie on TV when it was on HBO back in 1988 and 89 because I was a kid back then, so I remember watching this. And they did air it on CBS as well. They still air it on television even from this day on, and, and it's already been released on DVD since 2005, since it's been long out of print on VHS. Yeah. But nevertheless, it is a terrible movie. Not worthy of its cost, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. But I get sense that this is a cult classic for people who actually did enjoy this. I'm, I'm sure some people actually do enjoy this piece of shit. But you know what? I gotta admit, maybe I did sort of uh, enjoy some of the humor that went into it, but it's still pretty bad. But, but anyway, here it goes. It stars Bill Cosby, Tom Courtenay, Joe Don Baker, Moses Gunn, Pat Colbert, Victoria Wowell, and Gloria Foster. Yep, the same actress who played the Oracle in the first two Matrix movies. Which, yeah, before she passed away. And it's directed by Paul Whelan. Well, this is one silly trip to sift through this, but here it goes. The movie begins when a former CIA spy, Leonard Parker, who's played by Bill Cosby, of course, has decided to have his own sixth adventure, which is part of the joke, of course. This was his sixth installment of the series. So one, two, three, four, and five are missing in this particular movie, but you get the idea. Fortunately, in this uh, adventure, Parker is being re-recruited by his former employees in the CIA business in order to save the world from an evil vegetarian named Medusa Johnson, who is played by the Oracle Gloria Foster. Basically, her plan was to brainwash animals in order to kill people, so that includes frogs, and <laughs> yeah, because there was a scene where they actually, she actually brought in tons of frogs to to pick up the entire car of one of those, uh, of one of the guys. Yeah, very silly to see that scene. And threw him into the lake. Yeah. And goes around kidnapping, you know, Leonard's wife. Who uh, had some hard time because Leonard was supposed to have a dinner date with her. Yeah, which ends up being a disaster. So prior to his plan was that 
The owner decided to stop the woman from taking over inside an international tuna building, you know, a factory that not only sells fish and everything, now oh, you get the idea. But once the film ends with Leonard infertilizing the vegetarian base, he starts fending with all the vegetarians with magic meat. Yes, if you think of the episode Doug, you kind of get the idea. You know how a meat actually, <laughs> actually starts moving a lot. Yeah. But that's what he received from the gypsy. Freeing captive animals and flooding the base using Alcocelser. Of course, escaping by riding an ostrich on the roof of the building. Yep, which is sort of like a scene which happened twice, by the way, from the beginning and at the end of the film. Like a TriStar Star Pictures logo. <laughs> yes, when they show uh, Bill Cosby riding an ostrich, jumping out of the, the letters, uh, like the Pegasus jumped out of the letter T for, for Tri. Uh, kind of ironic considering that TriStar is part of Columbia Pictures, the studio that owns it. Of course, that's what the movie was about, and it's not a good movie at all. There's so many stupid scenes in this movie, especially when Leonard, in his spacesuit, tries so hard to open the door inside the factory, where he started using all these explosives and rocket launchers just to open it, and guess what? It doesn't even open at all. <laughs> So he says the word Victor, such as him wearing a tutu, <laughs> where Leonard Parker actually had his daughter marrying an old man you know, named Giorgio Francosi, played by Moses Gunn. So of course, what he does though, he grabs a sandwich and has, get this, a Coke bottle. <laughs> yeah. So they started showing scenes, you know, waving around with, with a sandwich, you know, where they show Coke and Coca-Cola on, on sides, yeah. There was even one scene where, you know, he actually got chased by one of the bad guys inside the kitchen where the chefs are, you know, go around cooking. Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, the chefs didn't even know it either. So that means that by the time the guy was about to shoot him, guess what he was saved by? That's right. Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah. Too many product placements going around for this movie, considering that Columbia Pictures was owned by Coca-Cola at the time. But also, from that scene alone, you know, the bullet starts to ricochet all the way around until they finally got the guy and winds up landing inside the tank of a fish. And it's just stupid in so many ways. And yep, you get Gloria Foster saying some of the stupidest dialogue I've ever heard, even for the oracle herself having to say break me or I needed a rhyme quiet yeah that's what you definitely say <laughs> yeah it, it's just so bad um, it, it's really bad especially even at the end of the movie where he was actually in a restaurant with his wife and he, and he decided to offer his wife to to pour all that sauce and while he wants to throw in spaghetti on his head while the song by Regina Bell and, and people Bryce, the two singers who sing the theme song to Aladdin's A Whole New World. Yeah, well I never thought they wound up doing a good song for this terrible film. But, oh brother, this movie is so awfully bad in so many ways that that I think it makes um, Howard the Duck look like a masterpiece and this is coming from the same person who actually did enjoy Howard the Duck yeah at least Howard the Duck had had a lot of great moments in that film and plus you know they did have a hawk girl you know Leo Thompson and there was a lot of fun scenes in that film I don't think it's nearly as bad as Leonard Part 6 is I also heard Cosby himself did one a lot of Ratsies because that's where he actually indeed swept the awards <laughs> by going to these talk shows. Well, that kind of worked even for him. So, yeah. well, but I guess Cosby didn't really come up with something this stupid because you know, after this terrible film, his follow-up turned out to be a family-friendly movie called Ghost Dad. And I gotta admit that 
at least Ghost Dad is not nearly as bad as Leonard Part 6 is, because I do agree, this movie deserves the hate um, compared to Ghost Dad. But I'm going to review that later on, too, because I think I like that movie more than this. So i got to tell you this, though. Even for Cosby's sake, stay away from this picture. But if you get around with it to see how stupid and ridiculous this movie is, and, <laughs> and very atrocious, I think you're going to be worth watching it on a boring Sunday. Because this movie, I'm going to say this, it really, really sucks. End of story. So anyway, I give Leonard Part 6 a measly one star. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Much later. Bye.